Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at heat transfer by conduction. The example says heat transfer in a cold store wall of brick, concrete and coke. A cold store has a wall comprising of 0.01M of brick on the outside, then 0.075M of concrete and 0.1 of coke. The mean temperature within the store it is maintained at negative 18 and the mean temperature of the outside surface of the wall it is 18 degrees Celsius. Calculate the rate heat transfer through 1 meter squared of wall. We are also given the appropriate thermal conductivities of brick, concrete and coke respectively at 0 0.69, 0 0.76 and 0 0.043. So frequently in heat conduction, heat passes through several consecutive layers and of different materials. In this case, we are dealing with brick, concrete and coke. Okay, now let's start calculating. The first step will be to determine or write down everything that you're given. We are given the area. And for this scenario, we can assume that the area will be the same, meaning A1 will be equal to A2 and will also be equal to A3. So we can assume that A is one meter squared. We are also given the temperatures. The temperature inside, it's very super cold. It's at minus 18 degrees Celsius. And the temperature outside, it is pretty warm. It is at 18 degrees Celsius. The change in difference or the change in temperature, um, delta T, can be calculated by simply saying the outside minus the inside. And negative minus negative is a positive, hence giving us 36 degrees Celsius. The next step will be to determine the conductance of the materials. Each material, first layer, second layer, and third layer, this being the brick, concrete, and the coal. And in order to be able to use those calculations to determine the overall conductance of the combined layers. So in order to determine the first layer can be represented as K1 over X1 with K being the thermal conductivity. This can basically be said to be C1, um, conductance one. And same thing again, the second layer is going to be K2 over X2, and you can also simply just by saying C2. Respectively, if you add all these things, they can give you the overall conductance for all the combined layers. And if you swap everything around by basically putting everything over 1, which will give you X1 over K1, you are basically going to get 1 over overall conductance. Now you can go back and substitute everything into the conductance of the materials per layer. So first, you can start with your brick and just say X1 over K1 being 0.0. 011 over 0 0.69 if you calculate that that should give you 0 0.16 respectively for concrete you should get 0 0.1 and for coke you should get 2.33 and the units here are joules per meter squared second and temperature now that we just substituted and managed to obtain the conductance of materials per layer we can go to the overall conductance formula and add all the material layers if we add them all together we should be able to get the overall conductance but notice this is an x1 over k1 hence we have every Everything in one over overall conductance you have to make overall conductance subject to the formula in order to get the answer lastly you can determine the overall heat transfer which is q is equals to u a tension temperature we have everything we've calculated everything all you need to do now is substitute you will get an answer in joules per second which is basically in watts